this thing as always. Oh, I need a new phone. 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 I get a phone because I'm mean, gonna like that phone. I'm gonna buy one phone. I bought this phone from um, AT&T. It's a Motorola. That's why they say sometimes I don't have a thing cheap, good enough. I'm mean, sure I never buy that phone because I'm mean, gonna like the graphic of the phone. You not sure how I want it to show. Sean, I joke out here. Why well, go and people big up on yourself, on the um, big up yourself, on the on the um, on the um, four fifty, what, four forty eight. On the today, what day? Yeah, me look blurry for you. Me not like. Hold on there. I mean, like all other people. Yeah, we look better now. I don't know where I'm going with the phone here, sir. We look better now. Do I look better? It look blurry for you. The phone look blurry like one time front girl. Do I still look blurry? Do I still look blurry? If it still look blurry, I can't read them in the no no. Phone look blur. That one I found something I have, I have the, the screen save on the phone. That phone I may have sell that phone here. Come in and like that phone here. Island girl, where I go on? I don't like that phone here. Island girl, it look blurry anyway, people. I can't bother with it, whatever it is. It's what it is. I threw me the palm here that phone. Anyway, what's going on? Yeah, some day I know day after Valentine's. Happy Happy after Valentine's to all of the ladies then. Um side chick rather who are just getting their Valentine's gift. We can see you, but it's not clear. Shana you over my phone. You over my phone. You understand? So anyway. I hope I look at things that go on in the news. However, I saw where Jack here is in the news again, where, where, where them saying that Jack here, um, Jack here is in, I guess, in breach of the firearm act because Jack here have a firearm where, um, and he have um, criminal, whatever it is. Um, national, today, yeah, today, is, today is National Side Chick Day. National Side Chick Day today. If you're a side chick and you end up get some of the enjoyment yesterday, then you upgrade from 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 the the the, the after. Right, you're talking about side chick there, watcha? Well, on there. So one woman, how you turn this around? So one woman, I go in a fear here like she just get balloon. I can't. How you turn? Like like she just get balloon. No, I'm pulling her over in the for party she have. Yeah, she look like she just. Anyway, so. National Side Chick Day today. So I am here. Um, I am here today. And yeah, as I was saying to you, that Jack Cure is back in the news again, where them said Jack Cure have a firearm and so forth. Not saying that if, you're, if you commit a crime before, it depends on the crime you commit. Depends on the crime you were charged for and so forth. You cannot have a firearm. You know what I mean? Um, remember I said Jackie was charged for rape. Jackie was charged for rape, so rape doesn't really have nothing to do with firearm. Now if Jackie had done anything else than what he have done, then I then then that's a different situation, right? So so then so Jackie have a firearm, I guess he shouldn't have a fire. Really and truly, I don't think Jackie should have a firearm, really and truly. You know? I don't think Jackie should obtain a fire because Jackie is a little bit him, him have a little mental him have a little mental state of mind with him. him. Him kinda Jackie need therapy. Jackie need some form of therapy. Um and them say I know everybody act mad them mad you know, but Jackie do need therapy. Let's be real. He need therapy. So Jackie shouldn't really have a firearm. Jackie need to be evaluated and then after that whatever it is and so forth. So him do need. 
No, um, anyway, back to the conversation now. So now, Buju Bantan is back in the news again. Buju Bantan is back in the news, and this is what happened. I like Buju Bantan music, Buju Bantan is an artist where right? I love to buy music, right? Love the music and love the culture part of Buju Bantan when Buju Bantan was culture was Rasta. When it was Rasta, I like him when it was Rasta. Right? This we're talking about a new Buju Bantan now. So Buju Bantan is back in the news again. No, I am not in favor of Andrew Wellness. When I know say I don't care about Andrew Wellness, I don't like Andrew Wellness. Put it away. I don't like him, I'm not in favor of him. You know what I mean? But him dead and whatever it is until we, we, until we get rid of him. Ah, him just resign or whatever it is. Right? No, Buju Bantan don't know. I think, I, I don't think, I do believe that Buju Bantan need mental evaluation. I do believe that Buju Bantan need some form of mental evaluation. He have, he have something go on in his head. I don't know if the weed, I don't know if the weed can, I don't say I don't know if the weed mess him up. The weed mess him up. He have a, he have a thing go on in his brain, when his brain now click to right, him, him, him a function. He not really a function for a regular human, human level. And of course, I know say some people are going to come and, and blast me and say, Doctor of this and you know, in a, you know, in a Bujubantan league and all of that and how you talk about the Gargamel like that, Gargamel a big artist and all of that and Ray TTM. No, I'm not in a Gargamel league because guess what happened? Thanks be to God, I don't a mental problem. Thanks be to God, I don't have any mental problem. Thanks be to God, but if I continue to hang around a bunch of people, I don't end up with a mental problem. And I am not sitting here beating anybody who have mental problem who bond with mental problem, but when you add that mental problem and you know say what you do is wrong, that's a different situation. No. Butch Bantan have a problem with the government of Jamaica. He has a problem with the government of Jamaica for no reason. And these artists can be so selfish like Butch Bantan. They are very selfish and they are just for this. They only speak of things that are not beneficial to them. Right? No. No, no jail no mess up my friend. No jail mess up Bujubanta. Bujubanta mess up before I'm going to jail. Right before I'm going to jail, Bujubanta mess up. No. When Bujubanta, here's Bujubanta problem. Bujubanta was convicted in the United States of America on cocaine charges. Was convicted and charged and spent time in a jail. No, I am not saying that America don't make mistake. Nobody set up Bujubanta. Right? Nobody set him up. Fuck of the matter is that if you was convicted and charged in the United States of America for a high profile person as Bojo Bantan, they must have found something legit, legit, legitimate to charge him for what he was charged for. Bojo Bantan behavior have nothing to do with the people and the government of Jamaica. I think what Bojo Bantan did want it is for the government of Jamaica to support him in his dirty habit or whatever it is that he was doing. Right? And because the government did not embrace him, I guess, I go out and the limp for him to try to, to prove him innocent or whatever it is and so forth. He have a problem since then. So it's like he must say, the government of Jamaica sell more. What, but what did the government of Jamaica supposed to do to you if you have been charged for cocaine or charged for murder or whatever it is? The government of Jamaica not because the government of Jamaica is not going to put their, 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 their job on the line to see if somebody, if they think that there's something, it either goes so or close or so or whatever it is. Now, Bush Banton came to the United States of America, charged, spent time, was out here, was performing, doing all the songs, them traveling all over the world and rated to, and never came out the youth about Jamaica under any circumstances, cause as a Rasta, you have to set example. As an adult, you must set example. Your name must not call for any anything. You must set an example. Now, when Buju Bantan did their road, Buju Bantan never care about the youth, but how the youth they eat or how they live or what they do. Then as soon as he end up being incarcerated now and spent time in a jail, he went into jail without a degree and come out with a degree. And the fact that he come out with a degree I don't know what the degree do, what him, what him doing with the degree or what him 
expect to achieve out of it. I don't know. Because if you go to jail and come out with a degree and things like that, your priority for a person that make money. Um, so what if what he said is correct about the you don't have to go in. No, we are gonna get to that in a minute, my friend. We are, we'll get to that in a minute. Right now. Bujubantan should come out and try to do something to help the youth of Jamaica have help educate them and help to preach to them what not to do to end up behind bars like or him end up in bars and so forth. That is theme role because if we care about youth and all of that and we find ourselves in a certain situation, it's about free whatever it is. We know that the government of Jamaica is corrupt. We already know that. The government of Jamaica, the government of the United States of America, every government official is corrupt. However, at the end of the day, we know that in government official, there's a lot of illegal things that happen. But unfortunately, we know of it, but we can't prove it or we can't do nothing about it because them are the law right now, so we have no choice. However, if the Maroon chief is in brief of an illegal weapon or whatever it is, you don't stop a big yourself. The law is the law. The law of the land is the law of the land. The rules is the rules. Right? No, I cannot say me ago overthrow Andrew Wallace because of whatever it is and I don't have the power to do it. I can talk. It doesn't mean that I have the power to do that. However, same thing again now. Oh, we can be uneducated about things. I have never catch COVID. Thanks be to God, me never catch it. I've never take the shot. I mean, you know when that I'm going to be, but me know so one day I'm going to take it. All of us have to take it one day. Right? The good thing is I work for myself so I can hold it out as long as possible. As long as certain things not come in effect or whatever it is. But all of us go have to take it at some point. However, Bujubantan came out before and Bujubantan was saying that um, people wake up what the government is doing and they're trying to fool us and all of that and ask dead and cow fat and all. And why I'm telling you that? He must smoke for him bush weed and protect himself and whatever it is. Right? And while he was pretty much saying out of his mouth that there's nothing near the COVID. Absolutely nothing near COVID. It's, it's a conspiracy. It's a everything in a real. Him catch it. In the midst of all of what he's saying, and fighting against it says it's not real. Him catch it. And the fact that him catch it, him never come out and say to the people and say, boy, the COVID catch me, you know. Him stay behind the curtain and him still talking whatever it is I tell the people, him say, it's not real pretty much. Him pretty much, I go against it, I say it's not real. But him catch it, I know if he like. Him could have losing life about it. Don't you think that if you catch it and you go through a certain situation, then it is... It is for you if you care about the people and the youth and to tell people say yo, wear no mask, protect on yourself, even if you want to fight against the shot. Right? Fight against that. But telling people are to protect themselves is good. Now that and that go on and in Gamba Pan in Bushweed again and smoking bushweed because you look on Bujubantan or whatever it is. When Bujubantan came out of jail and came back to Jamaica. Him get a little bit of welcome, yes. Right? He get a little bit of welcome. But the welcome that Bujubantan was expecting to get from the people of Jamaica, from the government of Jamaica, he did not get that welcome. So because he did not get that welcome, him upset and him mad about it because him feels that him are the king. I remember the whole situation, long time ago, him they talk about but, um, uh, um, Bob Marley, like him bigger than Bob Marley or whatever it is, right? Well, remember that situation. So him always thinks him bigger than Bob Marley and whatever. And no artist of Jamaica bigger than Bob Marley. Right? No. He's mad with Andrew Wallace and mad with the security force of Jamaica because when him come off of the plane, you never have every JUTC bus out of road. Have everybody out of road, Black Airport Road, a chair for him and say the gargamel come. When he came back to Jamaica, yes, they went and greet him and, 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 Give him law enforcement to make sure he said he get off the plane safe and get to his location of processing. It is the protocol. The protocol that if you are in a country and you have been deported from the country. And the only reason why Bujubantan get a little bit more privilege when he was deported from the United States of America is because of the status of his career. And because of that, them give him a little bit of sympathy and say, all right, what would you say, whatever it is? 
But we process, process him and set him on the mirror because they did not want this whole bunch of bubbled rasta come out there and one bag of thing and rate it because half of the rest of them in Jamaica don't really care about Buju Bantan. The real rasta them in Jamaica who are rasta today, they do not care about Buju Bantan, don't want to have nothing to do with him. So they are not even going to go to the airport and say, I'm going to go to the airport, go march him and welcome the gargamel. They will go more if you go march here, Shabba ranks or say, um, a, a, di a different artist or whatever it is, Rasta. But them not going out of here, put them on the and, and, and give him the welcome that he was looking for. So because he did not get that welcome, right? Him have a problem with the government. Him have a problem with everything the government does. But him of all the person should not have a problem with everything the government does that they are doing right and they are not doing wrong because you should try to join force with them and say, where you can hear what I go on that you can't come tell me I work with we on the street for make sure say everything go good. Him don't do that. When he came out of jail, he keep the biggest concert. Everybody go. Don't the Jesus go. Right? Biggest concert. Then give him whatever he need. He keep on him make a money. He donate one little money that I wear him say. After him donate the money, he realize after the show over, the people in Majorica don't really care about, about him. Because enough people never really rate him for what have, what he have involved in, in the first place. So therefore, people's like, okay, enough artists never really rate him. Because they must say, yo, all right, God, man, come back, they my food and rate it, and blah, 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 and so forth. He haven't done that much for the youths. He have some conscious song, yes. Now, all of a sudden now, he came back to Jamaica, he's a maroon. He had that maroon along the way because he realized that he cannot do the things that he want to do and get away with the things that he want to get away with. And guess what happened? The maroon brother, they know, him decides, all right, this is what happened. So he wants to go giant force because he wants to form a different government. Okay, it's okay to each his one do whatever I want to do. But when Buju Bantan turn around, you know, if the government come out and say they're going to give people a shot, they have a problem with it. If the government come out and say they're going to do this, they have a problem with it. If the government come out and say they're not this, they have a problem with it. The government come out and say they're going to fight crime, they have a problem with it. They come out and they're about the fire and permit and whatever, they have a problem with it and so forth. In going back into this mental, this mental situation again to telling them that. You ain't got no call the Prime Minister, you know. And people, I am not here pretty thing, talking about Andrew, because like, I don't really care about Andrew. I don't give a rat ass about Andrew on But right is right, around. Crime, pri when call it crime, pri crime minister, crime minister. Right? The crime minister. So he must say that he is the one who committing the crime. But Buju Bantan, all I want to entertain and commit crime. You can't tell me, if I in a music business, you never get involved in any form of crime business. Because if we're supposed to know, Draw a spade, a spade, and say, all right, Bojo, you're saying that the, 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 the prime minister is a like crime minister. Dog, you went to jail for selling cocky and dog. That's what they said. That is a big crime. That is something, whether or not you did it or not, that is something that they charge you for. And that is something that can rat out somebody inside. That is something that cause a big problem to somebody's life. It is just as dangerous as a firearm. It's the same thing. So... You, if you say that, okay, the government is a crime minister, then we call you a drug minister then. Let's keep it real. If the prime minister is a crime minister, then the, anybody can turn and call you a drug minister. Because guess what? They say he was involved in something that a form of substance that he was charged for. So how do you justify that? And how do you, where do you put yourself to say that? Well, I was never involved in that. They want to charge me if they set me up and all of that. Really? Them set you up? Oh, them set me up because I did a song years ago and call it Boom Bye Bye and they want to get... Them could I get him in any other way than, than do that? That ain't got nothing to do with nobody. If a man do it, do a man do it, do if a man involve him, involve him, and, and a lot of entertainers, unfortunately, involve in a lot of bull crap. And when them involve in a lot of bull crap and, and they do it as long as they can do it until they get caught, they try to play the victim. And guess what happened? People glorify them right through and say, okay, that person is a great person, but at the end of the day, if you do wrong, dog, you do wrong. Don't try to point a finger over this and say, I'm gonna do wrong. When you do wrong, I probably still doing wrong or whatever it is. You understand? No, it becomes a problem now because you say, boy, the whole gun thing and rate it, it, it. I believe that, Bujibanta, if you have a less, if you have a less firearm, you should turn your firearm over to. Because you're on the edge. 
if you have a lice of firearm right now, they should take away a lice of firearm because you're up on the edge. You and Jack, you're up on the, yeah? You and Jack, you're is on the edge. You see what I'm to Jack, you're? The mental state of mind of smoking bushweed. I'm meditating on a different, what you call a different, um, them, them tap into a different religion. That is not Rasta religion. Right? And Jack here go on and go on. Jack here was charged to rape and this. I say, what to Jack here? In mental state of mind because he refused to go get help. Put him in a jail in another country. What he's going to come out and say? Babylon system again. Them set me up. Them try to hold down the black man. Every time a black man come into a crime, they say, white man try to hold him down. Right? Jack here is in another country. In prison. Doing time, waiting for court time to come. Because he committed a crime of attempting to take somebody's life. That is a mental state of mind. Every man should defend himself. I understand that. But some of the artists is mental and don't want to say that on a mental and on a afraid to go get evaluation because here's the thing. Well, me no want to go in a rehab because I'm going in a rehab. Then my body will come out and say, Boy, you used to put you in a rehab. You know, you used to check you in a rehab and all of that and, and rotate and blah, blah, blah. And, Boy, you no look good for the artist, you know. Boy, artists will lose half of you. We already lose half of you whether you go in a rehab or not. You and Jack, you have a, uh, fret them. Check your WhatsApp, darling. Check your WhatsApp. I say now, uh, something on your WhatsApp, darling. You have a mental problem and the mental problem that you have is going to put you in some form of problem. And let me tell you something. The road that you are treading, Bujubantan, right now, and what you're doing is going to end up cause eventually where you can't perform the way you're Jamaica. They're going to give you a problem. They're going to give you a problem where you can't put on a concert. They're going to give you a problem where you cannot perform certain places. And they will make your life a living nightmare that you can't even live and go perform a different island because guess what happened? They are government officials. And all of them work together. Whether or not Bobby does love you, whether or not that one support you, or whatever it is and all of that, the fuck of the matter, all of them work together and it can affect you. And guess what happened? You may have some money, yes. You may have some money. Oh, I forgot when you was incarcerated and all of that, uh, and the Malis, them, they come together and put up the money, whatever it is, because them said, them claims that them seize your assets. Them, them seize your asset or whatever you ask, they don't call for it or whatever because it's only when certain entertainers are getting a problem, you really know what them problem really and really know what happened. Right? All these people, I understand everybody have their own private business. They don't have to come out and talk about what they have been through or who catch COVID. But at the end of the day, you are also committing crime because guess what happened at the end of the day? The things them that owner are doing as entertain and carrying on and make people have been. So you want you want the whole Jamaica now to come join force with you and say, yo, I'm going to join force with Bujubantan because he talk about the government and I put on you in place and I fight for it. Bujubantan is not fighting for no Jamaican. Bujubantan is fighting for himself. He's fighting for himself and his well-being. He's not fighting for none of you. So if any of you Think that Bujubantan is fighting for you that you get up and say, Boy, yeah, man, Dr. Love, don't talk about Bujubantan because I'm alone a lick out. I'm alone a fight for you. Bujubantan not fight for none. Bujubantan don't give a rat ass elmo on a year. Because at the end of the day, if all on the giant forces Bujubantan and go to the road for go demonstrate, and when beating start happen, and police start fire shot out and so forth, him not take up no money and mail and bail the note and my run left all out there. Bujubantan don't care about you know. In no give a lot of these entertainers that you hear are talking now. That they want one of a company and page and glorify them and sell some music and business and say, yeah, yeah man, Dr. Love, uh, yeah, Bujubantan are talking about this and Bujubantan I put Andrew in place and rotate it because Andrew are this and Andrew are that and rotate it. Listen, Andrew Wallace well, more for give a plate of food for your table than Bujubantan give a plate of food for your table. And that may I tell you. So there's a big difference. Not defending. Andrew and say Andrew is this and Andrew is that because we know say Andrew no good. We know say Andrew do wrong. We know all of them is the same thing, but at the end of the day, we know Andrew can't can control crime. We know that crime in can control crime. And even me myself say, yo, I wish him would have resigned and give it to somebody that can handle it. However, every entertainer and every citizen of Jamaica have a role to play. Every citizen of Jamaica, every entertainer have a role to play 
in Jamaica, whether a crime, whether the rape situation, whatever, we have a role to play in everything. And entertainers are so hypocritical that they don't want to play a role and do their job. The word is every entertainer. One of us, you know. Make up our money. And we can't come help the youth them in our community. But how much of this entertainer go back in our community and help the youth them? They only help the youth them when they're going a midlife crisis. And then finance start to become a problem. And then realize say, everybody and them are sized up. And then realize that people now glorify them again. Like one time. Just like how back in the days. Every man where they about there was a problem with a man where about cat. Rasta and yam salt and whatever this was a problem. Rasta and yam salt. No Rasta and yam front. Rasta and yam salt. Rasta and yam meat. Some of the Rasta them that are not real Rasta. Them and yam everything. So right now everybody size up. Right now, Rasta realize say, some of them realize say, them not really in our category over there, so, them they over here, so, they over there because the real Rasta them, they run a corner around, so, them not care about what I go around here, so. But you them is not a Rasta. They're not a Rasta. They're just embarrassed to cut off the locks on them head because if they cut off the locks on their head, a man has a long time I know my bowers. A long time I know my bad man. A long time I know my beat man. A long time you know this, a long time. So guess what happened? Then keep on the locks on them head as a show to make you glorified and believe yourself. There is no Rasta. Jackie Rose is not a Rasta. Butch Bantan is not a Rasta. Let's make it very clear. They're not a Rasta because they don't do Rasta. They don't do Rasta thing. They do really and things and unclean things they do as Rasta. Because Rasta don't get involved in a certain things. Rasta no be too man. Rasta smoke weed. Rasta don't take crack. Rasta don't smoke crack. Rasta no yam meat. Rasta no yam front. Rasta no get involved in a certain things. Rasta live the Rasta life. There's a, there's a different being a Rasta and there's a different being a rascal or being a, 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 a fashion judo. They might budge them a fashion judo. You hear me tell you? Because budge banta make it look like some boy. He might look out for the people in Jamaica. And he ma, first of all, budge banta have all that money and he might go help. When he am? Chief Curry or whatever he want him. Buju Bantan is not going to go help Chief Curry. When Chief Curry come in and Curry go to what they want to call him, get in a problem, Buju Bantan is not going to take up his hard-earned money and go help him. Buju Bantan will never take up a gun and go to Maroon Town and go fight. He's not doing it. Buju Bantan will not get up and go feed every single person in Maroon Town. He's not doing it. Buju Bantan is not going to do certain things for Maroon Town and he's not going to do certain things for the cities of Jamaica. He's only speaking on things that is that is beneficial to him. And yes, at the end of the day, if you involve in a certain crime and you obtain a firearm illegally and you pay money for getting it, they should take your firearm away. In the United States of Amer in America, if you get involved in a this simple thing as shoplifting or restraining or other, other protection or any of those things, they tells you, it, 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 you go up online and shows you, you must not obtain a firearm if you get caught with a firearm and so what is going to happen. Jamaica need to have some of the law that the United States of America have. Because the, the thing is, all of us want to solve crime. All of us say, boy, the government now do certain things to solve crime. But when them come up with a plan that actually can work, then we turn around and say, boy, the government... A waste man and the government now do a good job at rating it. I hear Andrew when come up with something there and talk about I might give more time and now for a person who get caught with a gun. I think in the state of New Jersey and so forth, what is the maximum sentence? Hold on. Let me find what is the, what is the minimum sentence. Let me find something. What is the minimum sentence for a person get caught with an illegal firearm in the state of New Jersey? I don't like that wife either. What are the people? Did somebody say four years? Can somebody look it up for me? Let me look it up. Come to where I'm talking. You know what I'm talking about? What are we fucking wife? Can somebody look it up for me? What is the minimum sentence? If you get caught with a gun in New York, or you get caught 
with a gun in a jersey. Can somebody look it up for me, please? What is the minimum sentence? But I'm pretty sure it's more than four years. So if Andrew Wallace come up and say, all right, you are going. If you get caught with a legal firearm, you're going to spend 10 years in a jail. The minimum of 10 years, a judge can give you whatever it is or more, right? What is the problem? Okay. You don't have to understand this. From 1990, it was four years. Of, okay. Four years, right? From 90, it's four years. No, wait a minute, people. If the government come up with a law and say that, hold on there. Hold on. Hold on there, people. No. Um, New York is seven years. If the government come up with a law and say, all right, let me show all the wicked and all bourgeois and them is hypocritical. If the government come up with a law and say, you are going, since the crime is high, we are going to give 10 years for a person that got caught with a illegal firearm. Most of us get up and say, boy, Andrew Wellness, no, I have no use of Andrew Wellness, a wicked. Remember, you know, we the same one saying that they need to curve crime. But if you come up with a punishment, if you got caught with a gun, we should not have a problem if you say that you might get 10 years in a jail if you get caught with an illegal firearm. Right? Bet thank you for between 5 and 10 years. Okay, all right. How could we knock something that they come up with to say that they might go sentence a person? For 10 years or more or whatever it is if you got caught with a legal firearm don't we are the same one as the public stated that we want a curve pan crime all right why don't we allow them to do what they said them do and we see if that make any difference because if you say i go give a man six years or ten years get caught with a legal firearm make we work with them i said let me see what the 10 years or 6 years I've done for a man with an illegal firearm. Let me see if the crime I go go down. Let me see if a man I go get free because he no want to you know, spend 5 years in a jail for an illegal firearm. Let's see what I go. Why do we have to beat them about it and say, boy, that not sound good. And a fool this them I do because the government, this and the government that and who, oh, the government I see gun in the country. Government give guns in the country and regular civilians give guns in the country. Entertainer issues going into the country to people. Entertainers have man where walk around and murder people and rob people and extort people for them just like the government have done. It's vice versa. You understand what I'm saying? But here's the thing, you know. Because the government is the one in the front line. Their name is easy to call. All right. Exactly. But glad somebody brought that up. Where Bujubantan live if there's no crime. No, where Bujubantan live no crime, no did it. Where Bujubantan live no crime, no did it. Not now go around this. Because you can't go around this, you do no crime. You can't go around this, you do no crime. You have to left this and go somewhere else to commit a crime, but you can't commit no crime around this. Alright. Everybody said they want Andrew Wilnes coming back with the hanging. If Andrew Wilnes coming back with the hanging, the same people them that said they want Andrew for coming back to start hang people is the same people and the same entertainers that's gonna get up and say Andrew is a wicked because thou shall not kill. Thou shall not this, thou shall not that is not godly. But it's the same people them who's going out and commit crime and doing things have a problem with it. The people them that actually not doing anything don't have a problem with it. It's the people them who committing crime most of the time has a problem with it. Is the people them who have family member who are walk around and murder people and start people have a problem with law coming in place? How do we justify that situation? Hmm? How do we justify that situation? Because if me now walk around and murder people and them come out and say, boy, you are going, we're going to start hanging for one year. Never be feet. Because me say there's a problem and it's needed. Okay, the Bible said thou shalt not kill. The Bible said no thief and no for we thief. 
The Bible says you must not commit adultery enough for we commit adultery. The Bible says you must not tell lie enough for we tell lie. The Bible says you're not for this and you're not for that. No people do it. Because guess what happened? I don't live by the Bible because the Bible says I'm not for tell lie, I'm used to tell lie. The Bible says I'm not for thief, I'm used to thief. I'm read it in the Bible. Because all of us say the same word over and over. Well, I'm going to go and thief, yeah, man. I'm going to go and do this because guess what happened? When I go to hell, I go to heaven, God will deal with me. I wait till them time, and so I do whatever it is and all that. We have a problem with everything Andrew Wellness do, but we as the people, them, we as the entertainer who's public figure, who's a part of the government, who have an influence just like the Prime Minister have, are not doing a job and are not doing what we're supposed to do. These entertainers are not getting up and saying, yo, you know what happened? We have come together once and for all. We are going to help the government to fight crime. No. Them cannot help the government to fight crime because they are committing crime. And if them help the government to fight crime, them same bad man friend with them have had them quen quen them. I go end up in a jail and give them up. So guess what happened? But we stay back and beat the government about what they are doing because guess what? The government is the only one who commit crime. The government is the only one who give out illegal gun. The government is the only one who rip. Entertainer doesn't do anything. You see how selfish they are? You see all these entertainers think? Me and I know, alright. 69 hours now watch me right now. When I do a video, everybody come watch it, everybody talk, everybody share it. Right? Whatever I talk about on my platform, it either may I talk about something that is good, that is going to help, or somebody are going to learn something out of it, or somebody not going to learn something about it, right? If I have, if I never have a name, and if me never popular, if me never in a big league like enough of them, would you guys come here and sit and watch me and listen to what me have said? No. Me to have three people or one people I watch me and that's it. I can come on live and me can get 50 people in space of five minutes. A hundred people, 200 people, 300 people, depend on the story. Right? Depend, depend on the, depend on the story. I can get a lot of people watch me. Here's the question at the end of the day. What is my role as a public figure then? Whether or not you want to say Dr. Love is a public figure and so forth. Yeah, me in the big league. Yeah, me can say me a star. Yes, I can say it. My role is that, yes, there's times I contribute to some negative things. I've contributed to some things where don't supposed to happen. But yes, me can admit it and say yes. Just like me say, um, Mr. Tanya Stevenson, get up every day and she talk about, she, she's so much on this whole vaxy situation and so much against what the government is doing and, and who now and take no shot and she now and travel and she now and this and all, all that and ass they don't call fat. Not using anybody problem to train their face. But Tanya Stevenson every day, a little boy get raped and a little girl get raped. Even you, you see him when get raped. What are you doing to make sure that others don't get involved in it? But they are so busy talking about fighting against taking the shot. They are so busy talking about what people should not be doing. But who is out there preaching to the youth them to put on the gun, stop walking and rape and stop the certain things and stop committing crime? They are not doing that because it's not of interest of them. They only talk about things that they feel comfortable to talk about because anything that don't steer towards them, that's not going to affect them. They have no interest inside of it. It's the same thing. The same exact thing. It's just like Mr. Bounty Killer, for example. Berate Killer. Killer good artist. Just like Mr. Killer. I give out bed and I do look or try to something. When Killer and them carry and Killer at Killer, never give out no bed and no chair or nothing. I never care about none of that. He didn't care about none of that. He never cared about buying one five bed and one two bed and said, let me give it out to the people. And when he was at his peak of his career, when the attention was on him, he was not doing that. But yeah, what happened now? Now, a man is at the fall of their career. Uh, let's just rephrase that. Now, a man's career is not what it is anymore. A man finds everything that is charitable to benefit their self, to bring it to the front line because they're trying to gain back the people them. They're trying to have the people them to make them think say, okay, they care about them. When they really don't give a rat ass hell about these people. 
There was people dead from a long time. Why would I try to go help somebody now when time me broke and paparized? And when me they have a money that try to help people. And the person that come and kiss their teeth and all of that. I, be careful how you're kissing your teeth. Make sure come back and refuse why you're kissing your teeth and all that. Because over here, so, we chant, we chant very heavy over here. So, if you, if you have something to say, don't kiss your teeth. Come and speak it and all of that. And then I will make a decision where you go from there. No. Lot of entertainers only will get up and preach certain kind of love and certain kind of unity. Um, no, you, we disagree. Okay, we can disagree about things. Your mind, well, you have a point and you don't have a point. Yes, our mind change. But let me tell you something. When you're up the pan the pole and you're up the pan the top, you're up on the peak. You must always remember so there's a falling time and there's a dung time. You do the things when you're up there. Don't wait till you're down there, you try to do the things when you're down there because when you try to do the things when you're down there, people look and say, well, you only give up milk and food now because you're down there with we. But dog, you know, say, me that ball for hungry and you did up on the You remember, you did up on the pool and I said, yo, throw me down a buckle and you didn't throw me down a buckle. I said, throw me a 50, you know, throw me a 50, you look past me. But no, you want to give me a 50 dog, I don't really want a 50 then because I don't think I'll give it with a good heart. What do I have to do for the 50? We got to keep it real. Someone like to be hypocritical. Because me see him one. Look at L.A. Lewis, for example. L.A. Lewis get up and say, him go through the hospital and not see nobody with COVID. I like the government I tell. Government are wicked. A Bill Gate this and Bill Gate that and Ray Tete. But when, Chuba, when you're young. You know. Okay, may I go back to that? L.A. Lewis said there was nothing me and Cove. I went and Cove, well, I'm pandemic and lick him now and put him in the hospital. You know, you ain't talk about it no more. Don't. Cove, well, man beat him and box him and kick him and wake him up. You know, you ain't talk about it anymore. I am not going to sit down and say that I don't believe in it. I am not going to tell a man say it not exist because exists because it is exist. Hold on. It is exist. Hold on, let me text some because a lot of people don't call me and tell me they're live, you know. Yeah, right? Now, back to the another conversation, sir. If the government of Jamaica come in right now and say, Yo, Agua, since the crime is out of control, we have no choice to leave. Right? We have no choice. We have to curve crime. We come in with the gun law. That is a step ahead. We are finding all these guns. I don't know if they're telling the truth. I don't know if they're lying, but something, something right and something not right. Because when them find the gun, them, we don't see what the government of Jamaica do with the gun. We never see them a try this man a gun. We never see, no, we never see a documentary and say, okay, this is where all the illegal guns that have been found in Jamaica, this is where it end up and this is what have happened. We not, we not see none of that. So we don't know if these guns are actually getting back on our public road. Right? Why? What are the people? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, people. My phone has given me a problem. Hold on. Hold on. Then. Right? We don't see. Where the guns them end up, or if the guns them end up back on the street. However, if the government of Jamaica come out now and say, Yeah, we are going, we are bring back hanging. We are going to hang people. Bujubantan and other entertainers and other hypocritical people are going to get up and say, No, Andrew, you are wicked. Start and your start and people in the parliament first and yourself first and your picnic and your mama and your wife 
And you this and whatever it is. Eh? I say you want to kill off ghetto youth. Eh? Innocent ghetto youth and rotate. We don't want to hang in. That is not a part of our culture. Leave that to America. Leave that to this and all that. We're going to fight Andrew and say, Andrew and say this and we're going to cuss him and we're going to burn him. We're going to tell him, say, what am I doing is wrong? But are we seeing one get up and say, yo, we need crime to solve and we need back the hanging. The same people them who ball out and say that they want crime to curve and they want the hanging to come back is the same people them who are going to turn around and fight against it. So how do you solve crime? What other plans do we have? If that's what it takes to fix the problem, then that's what it is. So when people like Bujuman and get up every day and I beat Andrew Wallace over and over and say Andrew this and uh, Andrew that and uh, Andrew uh, um, uh, 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 crime minister and this and read the days and all that and why are you blaming Andrew for all of the problem then when you are entertainer and you have a role, you have a voice, you have a fan base. Why don't you take your Facebook and your Instagram page and come on and preach to the youth them and do something to educate the youth them? Why won't you come on and do what you're supposed to do as an entertainer? Because as I said, I have a role to play. I have a platform and I use my platform to help a lot of people. I've helped, I use my platform to educate a lot of people. A lot of people have learned from me. You have people come by my page and your people get them green card because I bring an immigration lawyer. People come on and never know so them could I do this or do that because I talk about it. I have a role. Me have a name. Me have a follower. If I can't save one life and so forth, why not save one life? Entertainers all the command on, on Facebook and Instagram. Yo, the government need to warm up the country. They need to warm up the entertainment. We are suffer. We are this, we are that, and them talk about themselves. But what about the little man them were selling at the market who have been suffering and who have problem? What about Miss Matty with them rape her daughter down there so? And I entertain and live down there so I know say little girl get raped, a little boy get raped. Why don't you take your platform and come out and talk about it and help them to solve crime? Hmm? Why don't you do that? Find you come out of jail till now all that all you do is just call be a mischief and be a problem. Me no say you do nothing dog. When I tell you say you you don't it must have a million dollar too. Some boys some boys' homes or whatever it is, I'm rated here, whatever it is, blah, blah. I don't remember what it was. You know, I lie by you and so forth, right? You, 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 that disappear, right? You do that and that was good. If you do it with a good heart and if you really do, that was good. But, Bujbantan, let's be real, Dada. What role, what example are you setting as a so-called Rasta then? What example, what role... You play within our youth boys and girls them in our community. Hmm? What law? What 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 where do you come in? What example you are set as an entertainer? We don't keep talking about the same thing over and over and the about say boy the government this and the government that are what very this. Look at what happened the other day now. Curry goat, I would want to name, Chef Curry, I would want to name. They are maroon town. Big shooting up in a maroon town. People get shot up there. Right? When the government say, no party no for keep. May I show you how hypocritical enough? The government say, no party should keep up there. And Chef Curry or Curry, whatever his name is, went up there and still go ahead and keep a party. Hmm? And when the party keep what happened, Shootout happened up there. Shootout. What are the people? Shootout happened up there. What are the shootout? Shootout up. What are the people? What are this lady coming? Shootout happened up there, right? Shootout. Shootout happened. What are they? One of the people. Shootout happened up there, right? When the, the pan live, the pan is my car, come on, the pan IG. And shootout happened up there. 
And when you shoot out about there, then turn around and blame Andrew Wallace and say, Andrew Wallace disturb the people and why the people them go up there go shoot and, and the police then come up there and shoot and uh, the police then get blamed for everything. And the police then come up there and shoot people because they don't want Chef Curry or Chef Kurgoat or whatever it is to be the leader of Maroon Town or whatever it is and blah, 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 whatever it is. They divided after the people man, whatever happened. Then blame the police them. And everybody come out and have a problem with it and say whatever it is. At the end of the day, we must stop be hypocritical as entertainers. We must stop be hypocritical as public figures and so forth. It better we join forces with them and try to say if we can help them with the problem. And if we join forces and we can hear what are going and we can help and so forth, then we as public figures may end up doing something to help curve crime. We have a role to play too. All of us have a role to play as entertainers and as public figures, as bloggers. We have a role to play out there. Because I'm not going to sit here and be hypocritical. I've done some things in life sometimes that maybe have contributed to some crime or, so, or to some things. I may have said something online sometimes that push a man to go do some things where, where me, him, me I say it and a man think it is okay when it's not okay. All of us entertainers sit and go and say we have a problem. All of us sit down and feel like so we don't have woman problem, pick the problem, money problem, job problem. We have problem like everybody else, but because, quote to quote, some of us have a name. And true, we're not coming on and crying about our problem. And true, we're not coming out and talk about certain things then. Everybody thinks that our life is great. Look at when we're the broken pauperize. When I was broke and paupers, I not now going for me and never have no money. Never know if me I come or go and whatever it is and all that. I come on and I talk and I laugh and talk with everybody and so forth. And you can't tell say Dr. Love never have a problem. Because Dr. Love put on a show to entertain all of you. And all of you think that it was great and it was all so good until God took me out of the wilderness. And because me, me obedient and put me on a pedestal and say, you're happy. You come here, you don't deserve this. I'm going to change your life around. And you have changed my life around to the better, not for worse. And, and when I was done on my face and broke and pauperized, at them time, then I realized that other entertainer was broke and pauperized. And other entertainer was a work, a work obia. And other entertainer do all kind of illegal things and whatever because all of us, Go down to one level where all of us has to talk about our problem. Walk and borrow money are big from this one or that one and all that. But when we come up on social media and all that, we put on a face, everybody thinks everything is good. Everybody thinks everything is great. We're living the lavish lifestyle. We are so good. We never go to bed hungry at night time. We never, we, 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 we never have a problem where we can't pay our car payment or pay our car insurance. We never go to bed at night time and hug up pillow and ball and say, God, when are you going to change it? And why we are asking God to change it? We are already rich a million times already and broke a million times and wasted a million times and expect God to come and help us over and over. But what about the people who never have it? What about them? And some of us will relive the same thing over again after we have done it and we have done it wrong. We will really live the life over again. Mickey and broke again. And guess what happened? Mickey and dead for hunger again because guess what happened? I have obedient and I know what it is to have and what not to have it. I know what it is to be outside without no clothes and without no shoes. So guess what happened? I now going to put myself in that position and I'm not going to look down on a man because a man don't have it. I am not going to sit down and preach certain things and I mean, no, so I may been through it and know what it is. At the end of the day, Bujubantan, you went to jail and do time in jail for something that they charge you for. You have a role to come out and play your role and teach you them things and say, you what happened? Make me go sit down. And you know, may I beg you five minutes out of your time to sit down and say, oh, we can't curve crime. Or what can I do to contribute to have help what you're doing? Have a meeting with them and talk to them. And if them decline and say they don't want to have a meeting, at least you have something to talk about and say, yo, well, me, me ask Andrew for sit down and Andrew say, no. You can't talk about that. But at the end of the day, we want to blame Andrew Wilness for everything. But why want all of your entertainers from Killer to, to Bujubant and to Beanie Man to this? Why want all of you try to arrange a meeting and go sit down and talk to the government about the crime and the rape and the, 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 the murder and the rape that is going on in the country with our boys and girls? No. We don't want to have a meeting with the Prime Minister to ask him, when you go walk more back one dirty party when us if a girl can't come skin out again? When you go walk more back party that man can't walk with them gun again? 
When you go for party, I can't make a money and buy some shot again. When you go and walk my party again, that means I can buy one Ferrari again and jam up and down and spit pan people and bust champion. When? No, 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 not doing that. I don't worry about that when, I when entertainment, I go walk more back and at the same time, people are in the situation where guess what happened? Look, I'm bunty killer them. Bunty killer them take vaccine long time. Then take their shot. Them not quote and talk about it. It is them own private business. But at the end of the day, guess what happened? Them sit down and them and they can't wait for the entertainment to come back and guess what happened? Them not tell them entertainer friends say, yo dog, me take the shot too, you know? Me take the shot. So guess what happened? You no go take, you know? Because guess what happened? At least if all of we take it, just like how the media did ask Andrew Ones if all and cabinet was vaccinated. And Andrew Ones said, boy, him don't know and guess what happened? Couple days after, all and cabinet start show people said they was vaccinated. Whether it was real or whether it was fake and all that. If Andrew Ones call a meeting right now with all of them entertain and all that, how much are you vaccinated if you go sit down and chat? Hmm? I am not telling him to go take it. But I'm saying that we fight against something at the same time. We are doing it under the quiet and we are contributing to it. We are a part of the problem. Why won't we be a part of the solution like we be a part of the problem? No, them no one do that. Because the interest of them is the interest of their finance and the interest of their liberty. We understand that there are some things in Jamaica, unfortunately, can't change. And in order for Jamaica to change this whole rape situation, it has to be a big, drastic change and a law in place. In order for this crime thing to go way down to the level where it needs to go to, it has to be a drastic change. In order for a man to stop walk and stab up a man, it has to be a drastic change. We're not going to accept it. We're not going to agree with it. And we're going to fight whatever the government put in place. Whether or not them are do it or not. Because as I said, right? Me is a public figure. Right? If me tell John Brown to John Brown, go over there, fire a shot and, and shoot a boy there over there. So John Brown, I go go because me, I give John Brown the money and John Brown rate me. If Andrew Owens tell John Brown to go over there, fire a shot over there. So, John Brown, I go fire a shot over this because in like Andrew Owens and in rate Andrew Owens and Andrew Owens, I'll give my money just like how me that gave my money. You are my general. You are bro God. You are the boss. Anything you say. But if a regular man say, yo, go over this, go shot John Brown and so forth. If not, go over there, go do it because guess what happened? Who you talk? Eh? You have to give me a thing and rate it. You know nobody. But at the same time, now we turn around and say, the government are doing it. We contribute to the problem just like we are blaming the government say they are not doing nothing to help society. No for we not do nothing to help society. No for we are not doing anything to help society. All we do is create be a mischief and be a problem to better for ourselves. Me almost 40 this year. And I've changed a lot of things in my life. Can you know what happened? I'm glad when somebody can call me phone and say, Dr. Love, you know, so I get my green card because a year program I watch. I get a good immigration lawyer. I'm glad to me that watch a program. I feel good when somebody comes and says, Doctor, you know, so I need a work. I get a little job because I hear what I say and I do what I say, dog, and it a work out better. How much people can cause my entertainer and tell them thanks? Hmm? How much I know? Let me tell you something, man. We must stop them foolish so we are do. We must stop them foolish. And let me tell you something, I'm not glad for no man in a jail. Because jail is not a place for people go. Jail is not a place for anybody to go. But one thing I can tell you that, Jack, you're in a jail, and I hope when Jack, you come out of jail, in life change, and it will do something to motivate and help our youth. Some of us, deserve and need to be in certain places where we are because if you take that if we realize that we have a mental problem a South Africa Buju Bantan and the other and so forth use your platform I have my platform I do what I want to do you do what you want to do use your platform Gargamel and figure out how you can help these youth and educate these youth and help to curve crime and help to fix the problem 
Because, Bujibantan, let's keep it real. Um, let's keep it real, Bujibantan. If you use your platform and sit down and reason with the youth, them on a level. Because every time you come out and talk about the government, you hear them red. You hear them bleed. You weed out. You jug out. You mad out. You confuse out. Everything possible you can think about. You never come out and talk to the people of me with a sober mind. With a clear white eye. Every time you come out, you hear them red. I don't know if you smoke one, one, one barrage of one field of coke or whatever, or, 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 or weed or whatever you want to call it. Every time you come on to beat the government and talk about it, you always eye, you stay eye. It's just, I'm, I'm talking to true people. I never see that man come on to talk about the government yet and talk about what the government I do with a sober face and a sober eye. So how oh, if you sit down and listen to someone like him, we always eye. Oh, I said, yeah, I didn't turn from long time, you know, because, he, 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 you know, he was always smoking weed and that's the gargamel, you know, he must have smoked weed too. When them smoke the bush weed and, them, and, and the little people start talking at the head, then just press live and take up phone and just start chatting one bag of things and expect the people and say, boy, yeah, man, you, listen. you can't talk to me if you have a sober mind. You can't preach nothing to me if you have a sober mind because you have to sober if you can't chat to me. I want me to see that video tell me say Jesus God again. In God now and weed feel again. The, the, the little people I hear that talk. The bush weed that speak to him in different kind of language. And they come out to the same thing. Hmm? And you can't tell me say boy I sleep in a sleep last night. He could like him a bun weed from 4 o'clock this morning and he's still a bun the weed. So guess what happened? It's like the weed just lick him in the head and just, him just come out. And it's the same mentality Jackie you're doing and Jackie you're the bush weed and come out and yeah, red and, and, and the mental state of man gone to a different level. Then come out and then carry on with some, we don't need mental valuation dog, we don't need, we don't, we don't need to end up in a one, what, 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 what the place there where you go in a rehab? Rehab on yourself first before they come and talk to the public. Rehab on yourself before they come and talk about the angel wellness. Now nah, go on good. Rehab on yourself first before they come and try to preach to people for try to change their life because rehab on yourself. And it's not now this to your dog, but it's the truth because sometimes some don't like hear the truth and people because I know some have done that video, some people are talking and say, boy, you this your dog, man. And I reach the rate I don't know no dog, man. I got chuck up on that one ass, I want to cover on this up. Because I'm not done, I'm stupid. How could you not sit down and listen to a man with a, with a mental state of mind, weed out and bush weed out and mentally not stable? How could you sit down and listen to somebody like that with stay high? Tell the man, say, yo, we are going to listen to your dog, but you what I do. Detox and come back again and we listen to you. We want to say, yo, you really live on a different kind of reason. So we know, say, so you're not smoking a bushweed today. But you can't burn bushweed and come tell me about this and come tell me about government this and government that and, 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 and prime, prime, prime crime. Uh, pri wait, wait, man. Prime, 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 what? Crime, what the crime, crime, crime minister, whatever it is, or whatever it is. And then the idea, I know enough time I this Andrew because sometimes Andrew get on top of me, me, me nerves. And, and he do some things when I even make no sense sometimes. He does do some things where, where it, 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 it just no, it just not function right. I style him. I did style him and tell him whatever it is. But sometimes at the end of the day, he need help. And he just burn me, say the man, I ask for help. But everything the man put up in that, he will knock you down. I mean, I'm defending him because guess what happened? He need to resign. He need to resign and leave the post can kill my Manage it to me. But, but you want to go say it to you again. As an entertainer who make it and rich a million times. An entertainer who's involved in the wrong side, wrong side of the law. If you want us to sit down and listen to you. And hear what you're saying. I am going to ask you kindly, sir. When you're coming to talk about Andrew Onis and talk about the shot and all of that, I want you to try to come with a sober mind. Clean up your eye, them. You don't know what you have to do. Sleep for one week first and then before, before you start smoking the bush, bush weed again, you come and talk to us and say, you are going. My only reason. Hmm? Because while you're talking, there's so much little girl have been raped. 
So much little boy have been raped. So much little boys and little girls can be found. I never hear a press live and come on and say, Yo, people, we are going to that country with the rape and the murder. We need some form of help, you know, people. Yeah, man, we have to do something about it. Them boys, they have to get some light and whatever it is and rotate it. But people can say, all right, right, it, but you want to lick out and we get bad. Eh? Yes. But you want to the the bush weed today. Yeah, man, he really, he really did it. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, we listen to the gargoyle because the gargoyle has a boy, no more rape and no more murder. The gargoyle has said, well, I read you up a march and things like that. Yeah, man, rate it, yeah, man. But what we do that thing? But you want to person live and come talk about that? If a fall person should be coming out to come tell people, say, yo, change this and change that and whatever it is. Him coming out to tell people for go, for go go to road, for go do all kind of things and whatever, and he not going to help none of them. Come on, man, we need to do better than that as entertainer. If you, listen, if you're not going to do it, if you're not going to do none of that, if you're not going to help the problem, just go be like being a man then. Just, just have girl every year, you'll find a different girl. Hmm? If you're not going to do nothing, I won't cry my help the government. I don't just live the life of being a man live there. Just go find a different girl every every year or every month and just come out and say this is my baby. Hmm? Just I'm just saying. Just just live the life being a man. I, I live just decide say yo, me can't do that thing I know myself have a bag of girl. I'm just saying. Just come out every month and say you find a new girl and I'm a baby this and just know say baby number two or baby number three or baby number ten I come. That's all. Just do that and do that and just leave certain things alone. I'm just, I'm just speaking facts. Because some of us don't make no sense. And I hope that, I hope that you and others would change the way you think. Would you? Real, you see me to talk to Jack here and I said, Jack here, stop smoking the bush weed. Jack here, stop smoking the bush weed. Jack cure, stop, mix the weed with something and smoke it. In command and do the same thing over and over everywhere and go and smoke the bush weed. Because that cannot be a normal weed. And Jack cure, we talk to Jack and now listen. All we want Jack and just now listen. And he never tap and tap and tap till he smoke the wrong bush weed. That making speak about five different languages. And about 20 different persons in there that chat to him. Till he got jar sitting. We then charge him for attempted, for attempted for stab up somebody. Hmm? No, him left him nice place at Jamaica. Where him had the nice weed down there. And left Jamaica and go up and play. And find himself all the way in Europe with the same bush weed mentality. The same combobulated mental situation in Europe. Go over there, many of them mix up something and give me the weed or in the chalice or whatever it is. Many of the chalice never have no water, the chalice they have some sand in it. He never tap and tap. Till he find himself behind bars right now and he's puppet show. Why would he walk away? He's a puppet show. And he's a balloon and all kind of sitting there now. No veggie chunks now in there. Well, he's not that fan good man and he can't tap him that long time. Find himself that every time he go a quarter, he say, case postponed. Case this till he find himself at the time quietly. Hmm? Kick down all woman. Pit pan all woman do everything that is all manner that is wrong. Just because of smoking bush weed. And just because them pride I kill them. And just because them no one for go a rehab, go get rehab treatment. He find himself in a one different jail than now. As bad as thing be for me there, Jamaica jail me there, and yam some veggie chunks and something, and I get good food. In the over so we ain't have no choice but for yam we ain't get. I don't know if he move from being a bubble to whatever it is and uh, I what see that him the over side of the time. No but you want back to you then now. You lucky you going as a with a natty pan head and come out with a natty pan head. But dog, me don't know if you never get no weed when you're the inside or smoke or whatever it is. You go in there and you come out with that degree because you never had no charge but then you have the balloon and you have the prison food and drink the prep, the, you have the chips and the milk and water. Well, you never had no charge but that. And after that, you come out of jail all that. No, you can't go near any kind of thing you want for them. 
You come out that jail and you gone now go and mix the weed with something or the bush weed, you know? I don't, that weed not come from Bobby, you know? I don't know which part of Jamaica that weed they come from. That the weed they did that grow with Cersei and mix with fever grass or something, night. Right? But that the weed they're normal or banana trash. And you smoke the bush weed. And you smoke the bush weed. Over and over. Over and over and over and over. I don't care to tell me so that I mix the weed with some form of leak or some form of blend or some form of something. That have you walking around in a mental state of mind talking fat. Talking fat. Hmm? Talking fat. Hmm? And the worst thing when you come out of jail and all that, you was not going on live and doing anything. You never liked the phone. You never care about... Right? No. Um. You never tap and tap till. Either you weed a mix with something or I mean no wag guana or something like that. You smoke the bush weed and you never like phone. All of a sudden now, every minute you click live and come and talk in one bag. See you are dopey now. Me no 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 say me good. You never tap on that gaga meal till you smoke the damn bad weed, bush weed. Mix with me no if it mix with pimental leaf. If it mix with cedar that tree, guango tree. If it mix with 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 cane juice. If it mix with guava. I don't know where. Me no know where mix with. And anytime you smoke the bush weed, brother, you click live and come on and make everything when you're supposed to can when you're supposed to talk about you come come talk about say Andrew, say Andrew, say Andrew. Listen to me, brother. Make we have something to respect for you, you know, dog. Make we have a little bit of respect for you. Because the people are losing the respect and things for you. Because your your behavior is out of control. Your behavior is unacceptable. For your man will say you rest of locks for your head. Leave Andrew them alone. If you not go help them, leave them alone. Take up a different role and a different job and figure out how we can solve crime or how you can talk to the youth them. Arrange one match where you can march for the for the solving of crime or the solving of rape and murder and them things there. And Doctor Wagwa with the No, she good man. Cash you are going. Let me see how much people put up on the live and things about you. I got through some farmer. Let me see what people put up on. How much I know? Pan the live beliefs about you. I got through and withdraw or something. How much, how much people pan the live. Let's not be a hypocrite. How much I know pan the live beliefs, sir? In behavior is. Is that a mental state of mind then? How much I know believe? So when I say right now, I lie me I tell. Because me now go sit in and say I'm blaming Andrew for everything, you know. Me now blame him for everything. We as entertainers have a role to play. We have a role to play. How much of people? Maybe, maybe it's the deportation they get. No, you don't have to do the deportation because you never want to deport it anyway. Let me see how much of the people. May I, may I really comment them? You know, I have nothing to do with deportation because people get, let me tell you something. People have got deported from the United States of America and different countries and come back to Jamaica and doing great and staying right on the right line. And then, then come back to Jamaica with not a mental state of mind and come back to Jamaica. Right? Or come back to Jamaica with a mental state of mind and change. Come back to Jamaica without no money in their pocket. And down there doing great and helping their community. So this now not for the budget, but that that is that is an excuse for him. He and Jackie are is an embarrassment to the rest of the community, both of them. 
Buju Bantan and Jack Cure, them is a disgrace to the Rasta community. If we want to say Rasta, or to the Bobo community, or to the Fashion Jet community, whatever it is. There's something wrong with both of them. Both of them, something is definitely wrong with both of them. And you have one that I want to. You have one that I want to. I don't see my do not much from the other, but in my, you have three Rasta Jamaica. Three of them. You have three Rasta. I three dread, dread of Jamaica. One day a jail out of Jack here, and two day a Jamaica and so forth. Them head not right. Them head not right. Them head is not, them, them head up here, so them, not, them, them head not right. The, 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 the Sada Mali, Mama Africa, what they want to call them, them not, them not right, man. Them not right. Them not, the, 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 the bush weed. The bush weed, man. Bush weed. The bush weed. It's a problem. Something all right. Anyway, people, I'm getting off of this because I have things to do. I just come to talk what I have to talk. And if you don't like it, you don't have to be disrespectful about it. If you don't like it, you don't have to agree, agree about it. If you don't like it, you don't have to comment either. If you don't like it, you don't have to share either. If you don't like it, you don't have to cause a problem either. If you don't like it, keep it moving. Somebody else will like it. Ah, sexy Stacey. You see what I talk about? You see what I talk about? All right, if you think I like, go look on Bujubanta here in the video window and tell me if that is a, that is a stable person. You just say that now. Yeah, this is that to come from my life. Talk, talk where him do. All you are do is this in the legend. You see how, you see how drunk or like us, you know? You see how drunk or like us, you know? All you don't know, you combobulated, nincom poop, jackass. Nincom poop, jackass, or whatever he is. Ass without no head, where you come from my life, no, I can talk about. Ah, me, I do this, the legend, and all of that, eh? You have anybody in your family with a legend? Eh? Are you a legend? You are entertainer? You are pastor? You are prime minister? You have a status to your name? Do you have a status to your name? What is your status? Do you have any status to your name? Anybody know you? You come and come talk about this, the legend and all that. The people like you, the people like you make man climb up on you. Eh? People like you make man climb up on because guess what happened? On a glorify some man that talk about the legend. Don't, don't diss the legend and all. You have legend? Maybe your mouth is never a legend. Maybe your clothes or your is never a legend. Not by your legend. You don't have any status to your name. Eh? You don't have any status to your name, but you can talk about legend. But the legend, you are this, the legend, and all that. Let me tell you something. You're not an entertainer. You don't have no status to your name. Nobody don't know you. You don't have no song. You don't have no likes. You don't have no love. That's why you come over here so you come try to get some knowing and likes. I mean, I'm not nobody today. So you try to take yourself away somewhere else over there. Because I'm not busting anybody over here today. So you come over here so and talk about legend and all of that and this and the legend and whatever it is. Eh? And no man over here so I give away. Go find the page and with the great man over there. So I mean, you know where you come over here so now I, I can chat or whatever it is. I can carry on about legend. Eh? Legend, probably not brush up thinking more for a man in. Eh? Listen to me, I don't come by here so come, come, come antagonize me today here. Yeah? I don't want to come by here and put up no legend because then if I tell on legend, so then if you stay for the bush weed. Okay? All right. We don't know what go already. Anyway, people, I get enough of this. Hmm? I, I get enough of this. No, I speak my mind. Um. Um. Um, my man, I'm a star, you know. I get paid for talk. Me get paid to talk. I get paid to talk. Instagram and Facebook pay me for talk. I'm not talk for free. 
I don't come on live for free. I get paid to talk. I on Instagram and Facebook in a business. So I don't on Facebook and Instagram in a no business. So I don't know the same category that I try to tell them I get paid for talk. Or that I don't better know. So I have open chattings. You understand? Anyway, I'm getting off of this, ladies. Until we meet again, we we'll follow the page, we we'll like the page, and guess what happened? We we'll care. No, let me adjust one thing. Let me adjust another thing before we come off of this. Let me adjust one thing. Right? Let me adjust one thing. Let me adjust one thing. I want to know people understand something. When I give my number from social media, so you can call me if there's a problem. Call me if I put up a job or put up something on my page. Now, every business operate from 8 to 4 or from 8 to 5 or from 8 to 6. Some of the people decide they want to pick up on the phone and call me 11 and 12 o'clock and 1 o'clock at night time for either call me or ask me for obey my number. I either call me to tell me some of the problems I don't want to hear about. I either I call me them type of night if I say hi to me. I either call me them type of night there and don't have nothing to say. I either call me them type of night and say, boy, doctor, for a long time, I watch me just want to call and say hi. No, you could have called me in the middle of the day and say hi. Right? Because first of all, if you have the emergency, you don't call me. You call the closest police station or call somebody else. Why? Some of the people, last night, me lay down on my bed. And one woman called me. Live more clock, the woman I call me back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Right? And hear the woman to me. Me I call you about a job where you put up on your page. And me I say, 11 o'clock at night, this lady I call me and ask me about a job when I put up on the page. And then not only that, you know, the person call one time, two time, three time, four time, five time. When you call me that type of night, I have a right to disrespect you or tell you whatever I want to tell you because you call me after hours. And you may call me and I may jump out of my sleep. And I may just cuss you out of my sleep and then that's it. Do not call me them type of night and ask me about job. And do not call me late at night and ask me say you want to be a man because I don't know if dope in your house. I don't know if there's a crisis going on in your house so you want to call the other man and so the other man have a family and him work and him have to sleep like everybody else. So when you go and call me late at night, one o'clock at night and say you want Obia man, the Obia man is not going to do nothing for you until break of dawn or whatever it is. So you call him the Obia man 12 o'clock, well you have to tell the Obia man and ask him to do. You can't call him in the morning. And someone who only call the Obia man for tie down somebody I call the other man for try for, 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 for bring somebody down or try for, for do something to somebody or try for tie somebody boy I pit me. Someone who not call the other man but nothing makes sense. It's always a tire man or this or I mean I call him I'm just saying. I want to tie that boy there for take him money. I want to tie that boy there because him tongue not work right. I want to tie that boy there because the boy don't want to give me the house. I want it, it always a tie somebody man always a tire man when I haven't hurt it. Because my man never won't have tie could have tan. You don't have to tie some my man never you know. Because the woman with them there automatically are glad for somebody come take them out of their life and push them away to somebody else. You don't, don't have to tie some man. Eh? You don't, don't have to tie some man. Wasting time and tie some, some boy when they have no money. Then tongue not work. Then wood not work. Everything for them not working. You know, don't have to tie the crosses. Because, well, it, it, it. He make the six figures, you know, and the hundred figures. You want to tie a man because I make hundred figures, six figures and all that. And when the boy bring on the money and he don't check out the money and so forth, buy him don't pay him busy now the money left. And you want to tie the crosses to you. If you tie a man, man, tie a man with a millionaire, the man, we can't jack the million pay you. The hundred pay you, the fifty pay you. Don't tie a man for ten thousand dollars and five thousand dollars. Eh? Do not tie a man for 5,000 and don't tie a man for the house and care because the car must broke down the house. Eventually, the house, I go sell as money. So, 
don't I don't know how to tie people's husband, we are not even found a one. If the man, when you tie the man and then come, what is all that? When you tie up on the money, you can't get no more. When you tie the man and the man either drop down dead or whatever it is, you can't get the house because he's married or he have a wife or whatever it is. You don't tie some unproductive element. I don't know how to tie. I want to call me late at night, but you don't want to tie, man. Eh? You don't want to tie, man. All the lady, the lady who call, call me the other day on my phone. And when she call me, last day she call me, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. She want to be my number. I say, all right. Me say, lady, I soon get your number. I'm busy. Yeah, man, I want to call him, man. I want to call him. I say, I soon call him, but I can't get your number. She call me back again. Doctor, you're not getting the number yet. I say, WhatsApp me. Boy, I want me to WhatsApp. I say, WhatsApp me. I'm going to get the number. It's in my WhatsApp. Alright, 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 no problem, then. She call me back again, the same thing. Doctor, I'm not me, 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 me get him. Miss say, alright, see the number, I'm give her the number. She call the man. Doctor, I'm not calling the man. The man probably at work one dope if you go up on somebody. You call, you not get the man. So, what am I supposed to call him? I'm to say, I call him. Then now, because she chat so much and go in her business, you yeah, know. Boy, doctor, I have a problem, man. I say, why the problem? Because you know, some of them, when they hear some of them mental. Boy, you know, no, say, me have a little old man, yeah. And the old man, yeah, I get a little pension, you know. And the old man, for married to me, you know. And if he help me with my papers, you know, and boy, the man just a stall, so. And I take the money and I say, go give one woman when I have a Jamaica. And then I give me the money and things like that, you know, doctor, I want a little bit of money, you know. And I want him married to me, but I money, I want, instead of your child, I tie the man, I get a green card, I want to tie the man, I get the money. Hmm? Instead of you tie the man for getting your green card, you want to tie the man for getting money. Hmm? Hmm? You want to tie the man, you the America, because it's a long time you're there for you the America for what you kill Joy, you don't try to tie the man for getting your green card. You want to tie the man for getting the man money. Eh? Hmm? And that's how I run now. And you have a car call me. No, I have to give it to the lady and tell me, Mr. Lady, no, I have to tell her the truth. Mr. Lady, I have to tell the man the truth. So you have to tie the man. Because the man have money. And you want the money. She said, yes. I said, so what about the green card? Well, that too. But I want a little bit of money. Can I send the money to that girl? I said, Miss, let me tell you something. You know, say, sometimes I want to cause problems to myself. Nobody waste the money and call the other man and go time. Because when you go time, they know. And say your time and the dopey come and give me a ratted box or something. No, you can't get no more money. No, you put yourself in a problem. In a, in a rat it. Try to figure out another way. Yeah, you know. Why are you, you know? Me that think about that. You know that think about that they want to tie the man. Hmm? You want to tie the man. So I have to tell it to her. I have to tell her lady. I have to tell you. And if you are watch me, me not, at least me not call any, but it's the truth. You want time with an old man when talking, he would not good. I didn't see because money you have, you want time. Eh? You can't get no sex, nothing like that. Look at money we have, and whatever, God bless, look at money where man probably have a pension money where man get it. You want time for a pension money. You don't go and take a dollar, dollar and keep it moving, man. Eh? Tell the man that the man can give you a green card that means you can't travel. That's if you do. So on the don't call me, please don't call me. Pass certain hours and ask me for other man number. New rules starting today. What time is it? 6.20. New rules starting today. If you want the other man number, do not call me past 10 o'clock ask me for the other man number. Don't call me ask me for it. As a matter of fact, I'll give out the other man number one more time again. Because when I give out the other man number one more time again, I want to save it. I went number there. I give out the other man number. Because I can't deal with them. And, and, I can't deal with them and for them over there sometimes. Because Jesus Christ can get on top of my nerves, man. Phone ring. Other man. Give me the man. And then somebody then call. Somebody then call. Hear them now? They want the number for the man. Right? No, no. Lie. Somebody then call and say, Doctor, I want the number for him. And I say, Oh. Give me a number for him now. Me say, who is him? Me not say, miss, miss be clear. For the man, man. Me have to say to one, one time, me say, yes, I'm a keep man. Me say, which man? 
for the, for the, for the, for the, for the man, the spirit, me say, oh, you mean the Obia man? She said, Lord, you know, me say, but you have it, call her to me say, why no, man, for the Obia man? Call the man. See, see, number for the Obia man. Now give it out one time for her before I come out for this. If you are out there, let me give the disclaimer. If you are out there and you have man problem, you have job problem, you have house problem, you have body problem, you have car problem, you have picnic problem, you have green card problem, your man won't stay home, your man straight like dog. You want to marry to the man and the man who want to marry to you, you want to time on you like goat or time on you like donkey. You want a man staying at house and don't go nowhere? If you have the man and you want the man who dead every time he go to the side girl? If you want to say the man only bring the money come home to you alone and not to nobody else? This is the number for the other man. And if you miss the number and you don't understand numbers and you come and say you want the number, say you want the number for the other man and keep it moving because I don't know you. Now, let me speak it first. The number for the other man is one eight seven six let me get it again because someone all up in the age and especially England woman they will love what come up on people let me go back again the number is one eight seven six eight six one five six one nine. Let me give it to you slow again for the people I'm over sixty who want to tie somebody and not and have hearing aid problem. The number for the the reader man, aka Obia man, the science man, the one that's going to fix your problem is numbers eight seven six eight six one. 5619 876 Let me pin it, thank you. Let me pin it. Because you have some old people, them, right? That is the number to call the other man if you want to fix your problem. Now, when you call the other man, and the other man fix your problem. Remember, say you get the number from me. You can call me and tell me that your problem work out. You tie the man and you want to show your gratitude. I want to buy you a drink, Dr. Love. You can cash up me or sell me or PayPal me. $120 and $50 for me to help you through your problem. Let me repeat again. I do not practice obia. Me no know for Thai people. Me no know for gig gathering. So don't call me and ask me certain things. Because when you call me and ask me certain things, I'm only going to sit down on the phone and listen to your business. And you will go on in your life. And evaluate you. So when you call, remember, I am not the obia man. The only reason why I advertise the obia man it's because I know of him. And I know he's not a scam and I know that his work work. And I've used him in the past. Not to tie anybody. Not to hold on anybody. But me use him in the past. To help everything for going with me good. I'm using him in the past. To help me if I get myself in any problem. So that's why I advertise the other man. Okay, so if you want to call the other man, have your money, call the other man from anywhere in the world you are, and the other man will fix your problem and help you to tie the man to you. And the next thing, when you tie the man to you, and the man start to give you a lot of sex and a lot of tongue, and live in your hole like crab. Please do not call me as a doctor, love. You call the other man for anti the man and he say he want a whole of money if me can talk to him to give you a less price. Me not have nothing to do with that, my friend. 
So I am breaking it down in small numbers for you. If you're going to tie somebody or go into the kitchen, if you don't like the fire, don't go in it because the kitchen get hot. Okay? And make sure the man where you are tied to you worth it. Make sure him have money. Make sure him tongue will work. And make sure him would have work. Because if you tie him to you and him only can do certain things, it's going to become a problem. So again, call the obia man. And please to remember when you get through and things are going great. Call me as a doctor love me and send one little money to give you. Because you help me through my problem. And if you don't want to call me, just surprise me through my Zelle or my PayPal or my Cash App. The information is on my channel. Send one twenty dollar come. I want fifty dollar come. Don't call me and promise me that you're going to give me your money. Like the lady from England who went to the other man. And I did not know that her problem solved. And she called me and she said, Dr. Love, the other man is great. Everything work out good. Thank you very much. I'm going to send you 150 pound. And I'll know the pound will come. I'll know we don't get the 150 pound. But lady, whoever you are, I true, I don't remember your number where I don't call you and ask her, where is the 150 pound where you promised me? Because you use the other man to get a problem done and when the problem done, and you call me and tell me say your problem fix. And then you promise me a hundred and fifty pound. And you did not call me and give me the hundred and fifty pound. I don't hear from you again. But remember, sir, if you call me again and a problem, your number will go pop up and some message because I was talking to you in message, but through so much England number call me, I don't know which one it is. And I never save it. So when time to go to the other man and then fixing the problem, don't call me and promise me money. If you don't know, say you don't know, go give it to me. Don't call me and promise me. Surprise me. Okay? Don't promise me. Because comfort, a promise is a comfort to a fool and I ain't no damn fool. I gone. Me don't talk to you. Depend on the one.